One of the most iconic brands in the world, Motorola is a name known for innovations and communications. Throughout its history, the company has worked to connect people with each other and the world around them. On September 25, 1928, Paul V. Galvin and his brother Joseph incorporated Motorola's founding company, the Galvin Manufacturing Corporation, in Chicago, USA. The company's first product was a battery eliminator, a device that allowed home radios to run on household electricity. In 1930, Galvin Manufacturing introduced one of the first commercially successful car radios. The original Motorola car radio could be installed in most automobiles, putting more fun into driving. Paul Galvin created the brand name Motorola for the company's new car radio, linking motor for motor car with Ola, which implied sound. Thus, the Motorola brand meant sound in motion. Public safety organizations also began using Motorola car radios in 1930. And in 1936, the company introduced a radio receiver designed especially for police cars. Desk transmitters and two-way radios soon followed, and the company supplied complete wireless systems. Building on the success of the Motorola brand, Galvin Manufacturing entered the home entertainment market with a new line of table and console radios that diversified the company's consumer business. World War II presented new communication challenges. Galvin engineers developed the Handy Talkie AM two-way portable radio. It started the company's expertise in handheld communications. The company also was an FM radio pioneer. In 1943, Galvin engineers developed the world's first FM portable two-way radio, the SCR 300 backpack model. After the war, the company expanded into industrial wireless communications. Motorola two-way radios served utilities, factories, and service companies. By 1947, the Motorola brand was so well known that Galvin Manufacturing Corporation changed its name to Motorola Incorporated. Motorola continued to develop home entertainment products. The affordable Golden View model was the company's first television. During the 1950s, Motorola's consumer business grew enormously. Home radios, car radios, and TVs benefited from stylish designs, colors, and materials. In 1955, Motorola debuted a new logo. The Msignia became the global mark of the Motorola brand. Motorola expanded the market for wireless communications. The handy talkie radio pocket pager could alert a specific person. In the 1960s, Motorola's HT200 portable two-way radio was fully transistorized, a design that was compact and durable. Throughout this era, NASA used Motorola radio equipment. In 1969, astronaut Neil Armstrong's first words from the moon were relayed to Earth by a Motorola radio transponder. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Motorola innovations in semiconductors helped the company grow in the 1970s. The MC6800 microprocessor became an industry standard. Motorola's MX300 portable two-way radio worked with new computer-aided radio dispatch systems. In the 1980s, two-way data radio enabled field service personnel to communicate with computers back at their offices. Meanwhile, Motorola two-way radio engineers worked on an emerging type of wireless communications, cellular. The company began research in the late 1960s, investing millions of dollars over the next decade. Motorola sold its first cellular system in 1982, and in 1983, the United States FCC approved the Dynatac radio telephone, the world's first commercial portable cellular phone. At first, cellular services were used for business. This changed with the 1989 Microtac personal phone. Its lightweight and convenient design helped people around the world communicate with ease. In 1986, Motorola invented the Six Sigma quality improvement process. Six Sigma provided a common worldwide language for measuring quality. It became a global standard. In 1990, a Motorola business known as General Instrument Corporation at the time proposed the first all-digital HDTV technical standard. This innovation improved television viewing for people around the world. Throughout the 1990s, Motorola continued to innovate. 
In 1991, Motorola demonstrated the world's first prototype digital cellular system and phone using the GSM standard. IDEN technology integrated two-way radio, data, and cellular in a single network and handset. This improved communications for mobile work teams. Motorola entered the 2000s with more innovative products and systems for wireless and broadband communications. The company pioneered the next generation of digital radio networks for public safety users. Project 25 and Tetra internet-based wireless systems enabled the transfer of data and video using two-way radios. Motorola mesh networking allowed public safety users to rapidly create a network of wireless devices linked in a relay system. Video, data, and voice communications could be shared among people, vehicles, and stations. In personal communications, the innovative Moto Razor became a global icon. Barcode scanning products and RFID solutions helped customers improve efficiencies. Motorola continued its leadership in cable and networks with the development of end-to-end -end wireless broadband solutions. Motorola's communication solutions allow people, businesses, and governments to be more mobile and better connected. We're committed to advancing the way the world connects.